The attacks of September 11, 2001 affected everyone across the world. But the tragedy stuck, even struck, I should say, even closer to home for the Los Angeles Kings. Ace Bailey and Mark Bavis, part of the club's scouting department, were on board United Airlines Flight 175, the second plane that crashed into the World Trade Center. Our Chris Hay revisited with members of the organization, which continues to honor their memories. On that particular day, I was headed to training uh, to the training center in El Segundo. Uh, training camp was about to get started, and I was there bright and early in the morning. We're watching. Next thing you know, someone on the news said, "Oh my God, there's another plane that hit," and it was just like. And now suddenly, it was like everyone was watching because you know we knew it was different than just an accident. I got a call from John Wolf, who was an assistant in the King's front office, and he said. Uh, the training camp has been canceled for today. And he said, I'm afraid we may have two of our people on one of those planes. At what point during that day or hours did you realize that two members of the organization were on those planes? Well, there was just a little bit of talk in the office, uh, you know, and you could tell that you know, something was, was going on because all our scouts were traveling and coming in at that time. So they did some checking into it and they found out that yes, they did have Ace Bailey and Mark Bavis, two scouts on that second plane that, uh, that hit the, the towers. Tell me about Ace. He was just the life of the party. He was one of those person that just was happy, treated everyone nice. He, he was one of those guys that you just took care of everybody. He, you know, he protected guys on the ice and he just took care of everybody. You couldn't be in a bad mood being around Ace. He was one of those guys who would draw people towards him. He'd lift your spirits, close your eyes, you can still see him. You know, the smile in his eyes, the smile in his, in his face. Uh, he was just one of those guys that he loved life, loved people, and enjoyed every minute of it. Mark was the same. He was a really good person. He was starting in hockey and he, he was trying to get to the, to the next level. And they, he was really smart. Like a, in our game, where you know everybody's seen the movie Moneyball about you know studying things. He was that kind of person ahead of his time, thinking different ways the way he was going to scout and so forth. So he would have had a very bright future. He had so much life ahead of him, and he was just getting to a chapter in his life that was opening things up for him. He was doing something he was so passionate about, and uh, to have that taken away, you know, just in one moment like that, uh, it, that really uh, you know hits home and and really hurts. The Kings have done a great job in keeping the memory of those two men alive. Uh, they've had uh, a logo uh, with their initials on it. Uh, they have uh, uh, made their presence known at the Toyota Sports Center where the Kings practice. We came up with uh, the idea of having a mascot. It was 2008, I think, or 2007. And we were talking, we were having meetings, and we were like, what are we going to name the mascot? And, the mascot needs to have a purpose. And then uh, we just decided to go with his last name, Bailey. And that's, that's how the mascot came about. It makes you feel great because it's exactly the character that, you know, that, that Ace was. Uh, you know, he was a guy that wanted to see people happy and enjoy themselves and, and make the best of every moment. So having Bailey out there doing exactly what Ace would be doing uh, with people is, is just great. It puts a smile on your face. And again, it just brings that connection that much closer. Kings win the cup. Take me back to the 2012 when you went to the 9-11 memorial and made sure those guys knew that they were a part of this. We didn't really think about it. We just said, Let, we got to bring it to Market A's. And when none of us had been there before, so we, we get there and we, when we put the cup down and we, we, we saw their names and we felt we were happy somewhere they were watching and they're like, Glad the cup was right there with them. It was pretty cool. The Kings, I know, as long as they're around, will never allow the memory of those two, two men to fade.